Okay, so now we've got the window, we need to have something outside of the window so we can look at it. So we're going to create kind of a, a big earth. So in order to do this, we're going to create a sphere. We're going to move it outside the room. We're going to make it super big. Move it a bit further away from the room like that. And that's kind of it for this step. I might just move it slightly over so we can see just one side of it like that. Maybe move it down a little bit as well. So I'm just thinking about when I'm looking through the window, what am I going to be able to see? What's going to look interesting? So I'm quite happy with that. So in the next step, we need to think about texturing this. So we're going to texture the earth now. We've already created an earth texture, which is on the projection of the earth, which is there, very small. And we could just reuse that, but we're actually going to do something a little bit more high end to this one. So that kind of means that we can't use the original shader that we've created. But we don't want to start from scratch. So what we'll do is we'll create a duplicate of the original Earth shader. And we will then make changes to that one. So we'll leave the original alone. Before I do that though, I have just forgotten to do something. I need to rename um, the sphere I created. I'm going to call it Big Planet. Like that. And then I need my hypershade open. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is locate your Earth texture. And we're just going to select that for now. So I'm going to click on Edit duplicate and I'm going to choose shading network so you can see now I've got earth m and earth m1 so earth m1 is the copy and I'm just going to rename that to big planet m like that so I've not changed anything about this material yet but I am going to come back to it later and I'm just going to assign the big planet m to the earth there it is so that's looking kind of cool now what we need to do is light the planet. So if we look in this scene at the moment, you can see that the planet is, uh, it looks like it's lit. But once we render it, you can't really see it because um, our lights have got decay rates on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new light just to light the, the earth from one side to look like it's kind of um, being lit by the sun. So it's create lights spotlight. And now I'm going to put my move tool on. And I'm going to move this light out here so that it's lighting the side of the planet. Okay, and what I want to do is I'm just going to rotate this around slightly. But I'm going to have to increase the cone angle. So I'm into the attribute editor now. So that it kind of covers the whole planet. And we want to be careful here to make sure you only get the planet. If you go too far, it's going to start hitting your room. You see that's now hitting my room. So I need to make sure I don't go too far. I'm just trying to hit only the planet. And I'm going to turn up the penumbra angle as well just to keep it soft if I can. So now, when we go inside the room and we look through that window, we should be able to see that the planet is being lit from one side so it hopefully kind of looks like it's maybe um, just becoming morning somewhere in, in the world so when this finally finishes rendering there we go that's the effect we're going for so you can see the earth is being lit from one side and it looks quite nice so i'm happy with that we'll move on to the next step